Hey everybody and welcome to the planning board meeting of April 8, 2015. Tonight we have Tim Howard, Bob Watts, Tilly Evangelista, Howard Snyder, and our brand new uh, administrative assistant, uh, Andrea Tebow. Tebow. Welcome, Andrea. Welcome. Welcome everybody. Uh, right from the start, let's begin this. Meeting is hereby called to order at 7. Meeting is hereby called to order at 7. Oh, what is that? 8? 708? That's important to have in the minutes. 708, yep. 708, that's important to have in the minutes. Who's here and who's not here? Rob Hoover is not here. Uh, he will be coming very, very soon. Uh, but the meeting is now opened at 7.08 p.m. Great. Um, can I have a motion for the minutes? Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes, Mr. Evangelista. To approve the March 25th meeting minutes with any amendments. I second. Okay. Motion's made and seconded. Motion made by Tilly, seconded by, by Bob. What? To. <laughs> go, Eric. Go, go, go. Time's a waste, my on, brother. Tick, tick, tick. tick to uh, approve the minutes of. Thank you. March twenty fifth with the amendments that we may make. And uh, Tilly, do you have any changes? I saw a couple of. Yeah, I just I, typos. Did you get some uh, changes? Did you get my changes? No. Oh I, I, as soon as I saw it on the computer that day, was it Monday? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I answered you. Okay. All right. You didn't you get it. You sort of remember? That. All right. I had some amendments. You're on, it's only it. three pages. It's not too bad. I know, but. And we have all night. <laughs> <laughs> cool Are you that, trying man. to tell you, me? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe next week we could, re we could take a look at these um, minutes. Would you prefer to wait? I mean, are there extensive things that need to be changed? I, I no, know. it was just, uh, wait, let me vote. find it now, if I can uh, come across it. It's somewhere around the vote. Uh, we were talking about, uh, oh yeah, here it is. On the, uh, all the, the pages aren't numbers. Right, yeah, we don't have line numbers on these. We, and right, I know, Mary two, Ellen. Okay. Three, okay. four, <laughs> five, six, seventh page. Of the page two of the minute. Oh, okay. Page it's the, the second minute. one. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, Is there like a heading or something? Usually yeah. documents and, and, and other exhibits so you know, used. We usually have line numbers on these so that we can just. Oh, you have a line number. Well, he told me, so I did just did this today. So okay. I was so okay. I can Great. get it in right. Cool. Uh, Perfect. Uploading onto the virtual town hall, I think. Beautiful. I there. Yeah. Wicked awesome. Super. Beautiful. A little head. Okay. Cool. So kind of like in the middle there where Article 33 we were talking about, uh -huh. the use schedule bylaw, I thought I had said more than I don't understand it. I said that I didn't, I didn't agree with the process and I didn't understand it. That's what I was objecting to. I wasn't objecting to anything else but the process. I thought you were saying I don't understand why the, the select board was submitting it. Right. And that's the process I remember. in my mind. Right. Yeah. It was initially Because it, a, this had started out as a citizen's petition. That's right. I get that. So either you put that you, all in there or you just say that, that I there? just don't understand the process. I don't under. Is everybody good with yeah, the, I don't yeah. understand why the selectmen are bringing this Bingo. forward? Yeah. I don't understand why the selectmen are bringing this forward. Could and you? that was my reason for, uh, uh, and I abstained too. Mm -hmm. I didn't vote for that. I abstained. Yeah, it says Tilly Evangelista abstained. Okay. Okay, good. Rob Hoover. That's it. Um, Got the record show that Rob Hoover arrives at uh, seven twelve. Okay. Okay. And Rob, just so you know, we're going over the minutes. Thank you, sir. Keep going. Tilly, uh, do you have anything else? No, that's everything else is good. Tim, how about you? You good with everything? Well, on that same page, the sure. public hearing. This is under. Um, First public hearing down at the bottom. The uh -huh. public hearing was opened at 78 p.m. First I don't think that's true. No, it was probably 718 p.m. 28. Or the something, public hearing was opened at 728 yeah. or 718. <laughs> Does anybody we'll have a time? Can you confirm the time? Yeah, and fix I actually it? think it's more like 728. 28, 728. That sounds about right. Sure. Because we did a couple other. Yeah, I think it was yep. 728. I, I'm good with 728. Is everybody else yeah, good absolutely. with 728? Sure. Um, where it says the public hearing was opened at 78 p.m. Oh. I thought it was 78 oh, RPM, but I'm an old man. I didn't I remember, remember like 
<laughs> Did, is that when you arrived? I think that's what it said in the minutes. Tim Howard arrived at 717. Yeah, so obviously the meeting started before that. Okay. Oh, it was this uh, public hearing, this first sure. public, hearing. Yeah, public hearing. Yeah, that, that, it was actually the second public hearing of the evening. <laughs> it was the. It was recorded at 78 RPM. Yeah. Uh, presumably, but we don't know what that means in terms of Can time. Can we vote? Um, for what? Did we finish voting on this? The minutes? Oh, um, I, I thought I saw one other thing, if, if please, if you have boss. it. Yeah. Um, where, where we have uh, up at that, the top of that page, meeting, motions, public hearings, action summary, discussions, mm -hmm. um, continuation. Um, the motion was to open the continuation of the hearing for 70 West Main Street approval. It wasn't to open the public hearing. It was to open the continuation of the hearing. And that's, that's all I saw. I'm good. You good? I'm good. Rob, did you have any any corrections to I'm be made all set. on them? Thank you. Um, all in favor of uh, accepting the minutes, approving aye. the minutes as as amended, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. All abstaining. Motion. Let the record show that the motion carries unanimously. <coughs> and I'm going to turn this over to you, sir. Thank you, Harry. Rock and roll. Apologize to everybody for running late. I left the office. I can't believe it's snowing out. <laughs> What's yeah. up with that? Yeah. Somebody forgot to tell Mother Nature that it's April. <laughs> um, anything with correspondence you want to talk about? No, nothing of note under correspondence. So we have uh, on our agenda, we have uh, an empty slate for vouchers, an empty slate for public hearings, an empty slate for new business, and we have any other concerns of a planning board member or member of the public uh, as the next item up, if anybody has anything they wanted to briefly discuss. And then the last item was the planning office and turning leaf that we would talk about. I had three quick items I just wanted to put on the table, but I'll go after everybody else. Um, I, I, would, I would like to um, ask the board if they would uh, be interested in, in, in agreeing to ask Howard to um, just check in with, uh, with with Peter Durkee and get an update um, on the Elm Street project. It's a big project, and I don't have a clue where it's at. Oh, all the storm water and the resurfacing yeah, the whole, and everything the whole there. Redo of it. We, we we appropriated like a I don't know a million or something yeah. two two years ago. At any old time meeting, something like that. Yeah. So it was just just it, just the board. <laughs> Requesting how to, to <laughs> sure. Something you know, send them a memo know about, right? to mm -hmm. ask him for an update on, okay. on what that project is. And I know he's real busy, um, but if he uh, he, he can wanted, send me an update, an email is fine. Okay. Um, this is just to remind everybody um, that uh, we had talked about with the spot, the restaurant downtown, that there's some couple of trees that are going to go in out front. And it's another item um, that we were going that the, that uh, Howard was going to coordinate with Peter um, to right. make sure that the tree pits were going to be mm -hmm. uh, cleared out appropriately, the mm -hmm. right size to get these things to grow accordingly. So that was the second item, and then um, the last item was also trying to coordinate the big picture and just talking with Park and Rec to find out, you know, where they're at with what they have in the plate. Um, I have no idea. Um, and if the ground we, is starting to clear, and things. Yeah, and, and just moving. I'm just curious as sure. to where what where they're where they're going, what their plans are for the future, and it's kind of like the Elm Street project. It's just an attempt to try to start to get information from some of the other boards. So, um, so that would be something that if everybody was. I, I can't do that for you, but as um, as as a member of the CPC. Yep, I, I can tell you that. Um, a lot of the projects that they deal with, naturally, you, you need money to do them. Right. Um, um, and coming up on the warrant uh, on May 4th, uh, annual town meeting, um, several CPC projects that uh, directly relate to Park and Rec, Active Rec. Um, one of them is uh, an upgrade at uh, what's called Phase 3 of the upgrades at American Legion Park, uh, purchase of more uh, playground equipment. Uh, there's also... Um, uh, repair of the bandstand and uh, the HP accessible bathroom <coughs> down there. Um, there's um, exterior work that needs to be done on the um, on the building itself. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. They, those need to be repaired. Uh, CPC voted to appropriate, and I don't remember the number. I'm sorry, I don't have that with me either. Um, but there's a certain amount of money that was pro that was recommended to be appropriated for American Legion Park. With respect to um, the East Main Street recreational facility, um, the um, it's my understanding from talking to Jimmy and and some of the other Park and Rec members that the um, phase one of that project went out to bid. It came back much higher than the amount of money, unfortunately, that was still sitting in the uh, in the coffers for that project because there was um, a great deal of extra engineering that went into it, and. Um, so it fell slightly short of um, what was uh, what was anticipated and what was estimated. Do you know if they competed? It? Absolutely, there were four bids. Uh, the mm -hmm. highest one was uh, over a million. Do you know what phase one was? Uh, it, I three? couldn't tell you exactly what it was. I can tell you that uh, it was to bring the road in, <clears throat> and there were certain other elements. It was to do a portion of the parking, I believe, and um, uh, the field. All the field and sodding of the, uh, not sodding, but planning of the field, leveling of the field. I don't believe it dealt with the um, skate park. The skate park <laughs> at all. And I don't believe it dealt with the dog park. Uh, I believe, needless to say, regardless of what that phase one <coughs> bid was, yeah. that could not be awarded because there was not adequate funding. None of the bids came in the right. So what happened was. Um, uh, they went back, they trimmed a few things off of the, that uh, scope, rebid it, and my understanding is um, that bid comes back, I think it's, I want to say next week. I'm, I'm not 100% certain where it might be, yeah, the 15th, okay. it comes back on the 15th. Okay. Um, right. um, so, the, the, again, scaled back somewhat. <laughs> In addition to that, uh, Park and Rec has requested um, more completion funds so that they can do uh, more work down there uh, with the idea being that by the time town meeting occurs and the money comes in, uh, they could again put out the rest, another bid for another phase of this and mm -hmm. just do continuous ongoing phases. It's right. going to take a while. Right. It's Everybody more expensive when you break it down to phases. It, it is, but um, it takes longer. To get all of the money right. up front means that you have to bond, and if you bond, well, you're negating that ex that extra expense with interest. And uh, I, I honestly don't believe that. Um, I'm not speaking for the CPC. I am the chair, but I'm not going to speak for them when I say that uh, I don't believe that there is any more um, appetite for bonding one of the uh, one of the appropriations that we'll be asking uh, the town meeting voters uh, at, at this upcoming town meeting is over two hundred thousand dollars to pay uh, interest and and um, monies to, to service the bond for the um, for the high school turf field, field right for the t turf field upgrade we bonded over a million dollars for that as well as um, a conservation restriction on uh, Wheeler Brook Farm. We took that to bond using right. CPA money. Right. Right. I don't believe the appetite is there to, to do this. Okay. Are there, um, and again, this is just that, were there, are there any um, future uh, Absolutely. discussions that, that Absolutely. Park and Rec, or should we? Last night we, um, we also discussed uh, on, in CPC, what we discussed was uh, the purchase of two uh, open space parcels. These are open space active recreational parcels uh, for park and rec, intended to be for park and rec. They always have been intended for that. Uh, I know people get very confused these days about what open space means, but uh, under CPA and under the state, open space means both conservation land and active recreational land. There is no distinction made in the state. <sighs> However, um, can I interject? Of course you can. When it comes to the conservation, that state department, their open space is passive recreation. Mm -hmm. That's all. I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, absolutely. What absolutely. Is that? With the that? DEP. It's like walking trails yeah. and passive, passive recreation. Water, uh, skiing, you know. Yeah. Um, 
cross country skiing, cross country snowshoeing. But I, I, do, I do want to point out that EOEEA that handles the open course. space for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Yeah. Under their auspices is parks, conservation land, I all natural lands, yeah, and they, wetlands. They changed that. As absolutely, it was all combined yeah. so, into one. So now open space is. But as far as the conservation, so has a much so, wider so definition. As, as this isn't on the agenda, and, and all I was doing was is looking, looking for, for Park and Rec and to, and to get sure. um, them to come here and My talk. Apologies. So no, 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 no. I appreciate I appreciate you throwing in but all I this stuff. But I can tell you about those two. Uh, the yeah, those two, and then uh, you have a, map sixteen, lot six, Mark and map sixteen, lot seven. Um, of the Georgetown Assessor's Map. Um, they're both uh, currently under purchase and sale. With the, the uh, purchase and sales have been signed by the landowners, uh, submitted and uh, reviewed by town council, and submitted to the Board of Selectmen for signatures. Um, you'd have to talk to the selectmen about whether those are signed now or if they did that last night. I don't know. Um, okay. And um, those two parcels are immediately adjacent to what we refer to as parcel F from the Turning Leaf subdivision. Uh, they also abut another active recreational parcel called 16-4, and um, they are all part of what the open space, open space and recreation plan of 2005 and the latest open space and recreation plan of 2013-14-15 because it's taken three years to get to this point now, um, uh, identify as the Greenway, the recreational so that's what Greenway. So the, that's what these go. These are part of that. These are part of that Greenway. that Greenway. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll send you a PowerPoint. You'll see uh, all of it if you want. Send me an email. I'll pass um, it to you. Okay. Could you send me well, a thanks. Screen? Thanks no. for, the, um, for the update on that. Um, He's the chair. I'm sucking up. Uh, okay. You're Great. just the clerk. What do I get? Um, Nice Did anybody else have anything they wanted to add for, for public discussion? Yes, you were going to explain, I think, about the legal ad. How did that happen? <coughs> How come the legal ad was different printed than what we voted on at the last town, uh, planning board meeting? Yeah, well, um, you voted not on the legal ad, but you voted for the date of the meeting. We voted, I have it with me. I brought it with me. This is what we voted on. Intensity of use schedule. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you, but you didn't vote on the article. You voted on the planning board date. You put this in the legal ad. That's to create a legal notice. I believe that my motion was to have <laughs> Howard um, post the legal notice for um, April 14th at 7.15. Yeah. And I did. It was just, it was to post. It was to post the, 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 the notice. The legal notice yeah. that has to be posted for any right. public hearing right. for a warrant article. Right. Which is our job. I believe we're required to do hearing. so when the, when the selectmen request. requested. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm going to jump in here to see if this helps any. But So even if this were to change, however it's written, when it comes from the selectmen, at this point in time, that's not our purview of what we're approving. What we're approving is just the mechanism to get it out there on the uh, as a public hearing to be noticed. We're not even approving anything. Well, when I saw the legal ad, it, it, it had more than this in it. It had another whole section. Yeah, the the, the legal ad said about uh, supplemental. Um, yeah, it had the, another there, there number a, and another yeah. section, and, and it was, yeah, there was twice a, as long. There was a section in there. That, that, Section of the legal ad was paragraph A out of the department's bylaw, and that was discussed at the meeting. I don't recall that. We never discussed it. No, I mentioned that the department, it was just mentioned to me that day oh, okay. by the building inspector okay. that if these footnotes were to be removed, there would also need to be uh, section A out of the department bylaw. Yeah, would need to be removed. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't remember discussing it, but I don't think we got into much of a discussion about it. I do. I do. I, I remember him talking about it, and I, I think it does go to sort of a side energy of the whole thing, which is just the process by which this has happened is 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 a little. Um, it's it's a little different. Um, it's a lot. Well, it's the, compressed. I think it's compressed. It's hectic. When this kind of thing happens, 
um, we would not a be par allowed. paragraph can change. And I mean, we wouldn't be allowed to do that. Let's put it that way. Oh no! Um, but, but the legal act does, said, does discuss <laughs> oh, no. those amendments to the footnotes as well as removal of, of the paragraph. So, yeah. well, well, we just approved the minutes, and there was nothing in it about it. What you're saying, we never heard that, and and I don't know. Well. You both were there. I think, it, it was, no, I think you're saying it was mentioned. It, yeah. it was mentioned, yeah. but we didn't. I, I, I it was, wasn't a discussion. I said I, we didn't discuss it. <laughs> well, if, we it, if that was so, what you're what you're saying? Why didn't you Why didn't you type this up so that we could see it? Type it up where to it? The legal ad. Why didn't you show us if there was an additional part to this? Why wasn't it included in here? And if you because had I, plans, I, did, I didn't write that. I know, but if you had plans to add something, Tilly, what is it you want, want me What's to admit? What's the problem to? here? <laughs> the problem is that I voted for this, and when I saw it in the ad, it was something else. But you didn't vote for that. And I, I think that's I think that's where I think that's, <laughs> where, that's where I'm at. But I think that's where the, I think that's where the disconnect is, Tilly. I, I think what you really? may be thinking you voted for was the wording of this. She abstained. She didn't even vote I, on because it. I didn't want okay, to. Okay, want but to let me just let me just stay on. Let me just stay on. So I, I think <clears throat> I think I think what you thought you were voting and you felt uncomfortable, whatever. What what you cast an ab abstain vote on was you were thinking the words and the way it was written, when in reality what we were voting on, which I did know was pretty clear in the end, was not how this thing was worded, but was simply getting it out there in the schedule of a public notice. That's all we were doing. We were fulfilling what we are, are required to do as a planning board, which is our job to put that, because it's a bylaw thing. Of having to hold the public hearing. Exactly. To hold the public hearing. Tilly, that, that yeah, could say everybody in Georgetown has to paint their front door blue. No. And it doesn't I'm matter. We still have to bring it. <laughs> now, we still have to hold hearings. the public hearing. <laughs> then we can get into comment about it during the public hearings. But this was not that point that time. it said yeah I mean the minute said uh, Harry made a motion to authorize the town planner to schedule a public hearing mm -hmm. that was that was the motion mm -hmm. yeah. and what did is there anything quoted from Howard saying what it was as you're you seem to think did, that it Howard was, he's was merely telling us but he was notifying the opinions us. that he yeah. had heard Right was ab about mm. that it would have to change, not just that one small part of the bylaw, but well, I'd have, have to, to look at the meeting change. supplement too because I thought I may have included in the meeting supplement. Do you have the meeting supplement from the last meeting here? I might. I'm not sure. This is this was the supplement, correct? With the schedule on it. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, are you talking about that? It really doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, you, 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 you basically have the um, what he said. The, the, the expansion and the, the, the how the, uh, the the schedule would have to go. Right. And uh, some minutes from it looks like the uh, what is that? 2000, uh, 1973 minutes. So, right. Seventy-three or seventy-nine. So I may have just orally reported in about yeah. the building. Well, you said you've only heard about it. That day, or yeah. right, yeah. the building Just, inspector had informed you that afternoon. Yeah. And right. this memo came out on the twenty fourth. This is this is a memo from the town administrator. But that's irrelevant. To we just voted to have that meeting in the time for the public well, hearing. I, 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 I brought it up for another reason. When I watched the selections meeting, they too had found this supplemental after their vote, the previous meeting, and then at, after this, this was sent to us, the next meeting they had, they voted again so that the entire legal ad was voted on and supported by the Board of Selectmen. And it led me to believe that's probably what we should do, too. Were they voting the legal ad, Tilly, or were they voting they were the voting, wording for the warrant article? They were voting to include the supplemental section on the of warrant. the amendment. On the warrant. Yeah, for the warrant. Right. So that it could be voted on at town yeah. meeting. But this is obviously, if this came from Mike Farrell, and it did. And it wasn't complete. It wasn't complete. 
And we'll so probably big surprise. We'll have to probably bring that up. <laughs> but when big surprise. Hearing. That's why yeah, I'm saying there's so two yeah. cold issues here. So, so I, but when, I don't when, think there's an issue. When, when the public hearing comes up, as Bob was just saying, that's when um, we would hear from outside and um, also from board discuss, members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Discuss what the warrant article right is now to be and what it means. Yeah. We take public comment. Yeah. And yep. Or probably um, give the Board of Selectmen our recommendation. Or not. Or not. Or not. Exactly. But we must give report. Correct. We may or may not give recommendations, but we must give a report. Correct. I thought we just had to have the meeting. <laughs> um, no, we have to give a report. We do have to give them. If a we don't give a report, report can be nice public hearing. Ironically yeah. enough, I'd like to thank all if the we fail to give that report, report, that can't be voted at the town meeting. Oh, this is this was a real nice public hearing. Thank you. <laughs> if we fail to give a report, okay. okay. So I think um, I don't think there is um, anything else on the agenda. Oh, I, do, do I, I have to to just one more thing. Okay. Uh, I've been busy looking at how we can accommodate um, the provision uh, for older homes, those built in the 1800s, because it's true, it's very expensive to upkeep. And insulate to modernize and it. And if, you know, people want to sell it and they want to, uh, you know, and someone wants to come along and fix it up, that to accommodate the requirements from the zoning board, what, what I thought we could do, and I've thought a lot about this, right. trying to figure it out, and I called the historical, the state and everything, and he told me a couple of, of communities that do what I had thought of, which was, um, to allow exceptions if the const uh, structure is in, built in the 1800s to accommodate for apartments beyond the density that exists today. So what, what I would think, and this is a draft, there probably still needs to be some polish to it, but what I was thinking of is the applicant would have to come to the uh, board of Health and get the okay of how many bedrooms they could have on the on the lot and attach that to the application for the zoning board to review and the historical commission could could make the determination that yes or no this structure is historically significant in architecture or history <laughs> or whatever, however they phrase that and that would be a consideration that instead of worrying about uh, meeting the requirements for a variance approval, a special permit would be able to be uh, made. It would be up to the discretion of the special permitting authority. And I think that would accommodate the issue that we have in town. We have a lot of these old buildings and everyone wants to save them. And everyone's interested in that's the character of Georgetown. So I think that could be a way that we could, you know, change that bylaw so that it could be easily approved. Uh, without diving too deeply into details, what is the problem that this solves? Well, right now, uh, if you read the supplemental, that you have your book. If you look that over. Um, the restriction is uh, 10,000 square feet per bedroom, per, excuse me, per apartment. I see, and you're, you're talking about And that smaller. seems to 10,000, and as you go into different uh, districts, the residential C and the RB, it goes up based on the size of those lots. But it starts at 10,000 per unit. It's, it's tough to do more than that based on, we've got it pretty well written, it's pretty, pretty ironclad that the zoning board would have to do a variance. And it's not easy to do. But if you put it as a special permit, and it's based on the requirements of, of uh, with the approval of how many uh, bedrooms you could have, I think that would be a way of I think I understand. Approving I, it. So are you, are you I, saying I create a, a, a brand new, like an overlay district, a historic overlay no. or something with, that, no, that would allow that for special permit? No, I'm not going that far, an overlay. 
In other words, there's houses create... all over the, the town. So you need a bylaw for a special permit. To me, this is a Some discussion having a lot to do with the public hearing that the board's going to be having next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I can't, I can't discuss that because it's not the bylaw that's on the table now. This is something in the works, so maybe this, in the this, fall. You're, you're talking about a, 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 a different agenda item for uh, uh, putting on our list of bylaws right. to look at? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would like to do. Um, okay. Yeah, we have until May to do it. <laughs> the, the other, if I may, the, the other option that, that that doesn't require a bylaw change is a 40B, a friendly 40B. Yeah. An application for a friendly 40B where the Zoning Board of Appeals could waive any of the local zoning that they choose to under 40B. No, the, so well, the, I, the state zones so well, well, I, I, I would, I would, as one board member, I'm not comfortable introducing a new idea to try to scramble to get into this May? It would be a year from now. No, no, it would be May. the fall. You right. could probably get right. it. A well, we know we'd never get it on the, the, the May the May. Deadline. No, the May deadline the is The select over. board would never do that for us. Mm. Well, <laughs> I, was, I was just wondering. Just wondering. But right, the 40B that you're suggesting, <laughs> the applicant would have to meet the affordable housing provision. And all the zoning is removed for 40B. I, I wouldn't be in favor of that way. I think but if we can come up with something that would make it um, worthy of this the, uh, zoning board to approve by a special permit, it would be a much smoother process. And I think that it, there's a lot of conversation to be had about this. Oh. If we start to dive down into it now, the ball game will be over. It does take <laughs> To do to do what I just told you took a lot of research. It's not no, it's I'm, not a knee jerk I'm, thing. I'm, exactly, and I, I don't think it's no. something that we should dive no, into tonight. I, I, I think if that can go into the sleuth, it would be an agenda item yeah. that would have to get scheduled. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, That's it's not movie. forgotten about because we've yeah. forgotten a lot of bylaws <laughs> that we wanted to do. <coughs> That's a whole yeah. Movie. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Send an so, email <coughs> and, and and make sure it gets on an agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, well, you said so you have a draft. I'll and email you what I have, and you don't have to answer me back. Just look it over and see what I got so far. You know the, um, cool. you know the Excel spreadsheet or whatever it is that we're keeping track of? The to-do to list. To -do list. <laughs> Can you please add this for 2016? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fiscal year 2016. How about the fall, right. 2015? Fiscal year 2016. Yeah, no, starts about in, it, in July. Okay. okay. I mean, Do we you. want to discuss this? Thank you. Um, no, uh, this um, anything? Email from. Um, I distributed to the board as, in a supplemental the email uh, I received from the town administrator. Uh, he was forwarding me a, a finding from legal counsel regarding the disposition of parcel F on the warrant as being uh, decided that it would fall under the care and custody of the Conservation Commission. That's the conclusion? I believe that's what the select board wrote into the warrant article. Okay. Really, it's, I didn't read that in here. Yeah, it's not in here. So, that is what it is. This was just more ambiguity. Yeah. There was nothing. <laughs> from no new, no new no no opinion. No no nothing. The town of Pittsburgh. A lot of wasted yeah. money. The, 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 this was what the, the select board based their decision on. Yeah. Sad. Fuck. Did they think of did for the recycle? My understanding, I was it was told to me last night at the uh, CPC meeting that Monday evening, the. Um, so the Board of Selectmen uh, voted to put uh, to put on the warrant the disposition of the parcel as, as conservation land. Was that a vote for you too? I, I don't know that the entire I don't know the details of the vote. Mm. I don't know who was there at the meeting or who wasn't. Mm. I don't know who made the motion. Who okay. Well, it is what it is. Absolutely. Is there any? Uh, I, I don't know if that could be changed from the floor.
think we're pretty much it. anything can. Yeah, be. I think anything can. I mean, that's the whole public. It yeah. sounds like a, a hairy floor move. A hairy, if I'm there. A hairy floor move or a hairy floor move? A hairy. 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 Same, pretty hairy. Same. Pretty, 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 pretty hairy. Okay. Pretty hairy. Mr. Course, Chairman. Unfortunately, all the other parcels are open. It's open space. You just define the form. Now, you, now you're saying there's one space. The piece that really blocks it all in is going to be Absolutely. passive space. Yes. Which is yes. passive, uh, conservation, commission controlled, and um, um, basically closed. Which would negate any reason to, go, to buy and <laughs> spend any more money on anything in that alley. In that the neighborhood. Yeah. Kind of end of story. And on that note, <coughs> and on that story. note, Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion. At, what is it? Oh, please. What's that? Find the words. What is Find it? What's that? Just, uh, just it's, now, oh, it's about 17 minutes. Oh, oh, but that you don't put that PM. I would like to make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Meeting. Second. It's been motioned and seconded to adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's all downhill. From here. <laughs> From here, Andrea. This is the shortest meeting you're